So do you want to talk about the Bills or should we skip right over the or the, the Jets or no. skip right over that? Yeah, I noticed you were throwing salt in the wound. <laughs> I, I just wondered the other day, I wonder how the New York Jets are doing. And that pretty much summed it up, that yeah. story right there. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. If you don't know, I've been a Jets fan since 1969, wow. a New York Jets sufferer. And it's been uh, and disappointing been, ever since, they've been 1969. They've been rebuilding since 1969. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about uh, an event going on. We not only have Tour de Fat on Saturday in Boise, that's a big event, attracts a lot of people. Also, the Nightfire Nationals kick off tomorrow, Thursday. And uh, here's the weather for it in Emmett. We're looking at temperatures in the 90s, upper 90s, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm, mainly in the late evening hours. Cooler and breezy for Friday, cooler and breezy on Saturday, cooler still. In fact, that temperature looks pretty good. I think Saturday probably be our best day of the week. Going to get away from uh, some of this heat. But the triple digits continue today and tomorrow. Breezy and cooler on Friday, but a nice weekend shaping up. Did have some thunderstorms, some fairly strong ones right around John Day, Oregon. You can see those uh, just under our banner as we back up our radar loop right there. But those have pushed on. That's looking back about six hours. Lots of storm reports from yesterday. A lot of uh, weather related stories on the air. We had lots of downburst winds showing up as this purple symbol. Some wind damage and also some wildfires. In fact, uh, you'll see some of the smoke from one of those wildfires. A downburst wind, 52 miles per hour. Saw some downburst winds from some uh, high base thunderstorms. The uh, rain cooled air, which is heavier, sinks down and spreads out in all directions. And also a wildfire started by a downed power pole near Victory and Meridian Road. And of course, we told you about the fire along Highway 95 that's producing quite a bit of smoke off in the distance. Red flag warnings have been allowed to expire for southwestern Idaho. Still some fire weather concerns up there around Spokane. And there's that layer of smoke off there to the west from that uh, US 95 fire, the soda fire. 93 degrees is our current temperature, so we're warming up rapidly. Still a bit of a breeze at 15 miles per hour. Looking at a high of 109 degrees above normal yesterday. We tied the record at 102. It was a record that only stood a year. Uh, we also set uh, 102 in 2014. Here's our weather scenario. We have a low pressure system just off the west coast. It's giving us a southerly flow, but uh, in our area, that's bringing up some hot, dry weather here in Boise. All the moisture pushing off to the east. Here's our future cast. We'll just let it run on through Wednesday. Now on Thursday, we'll start to see a little bit of development here. That's uh, Thursday evening, the possibly maybe an isolated shower, mainly to the east of Boise. Uh, Friday, I think the computer model is overdoing the precipitation there. I think we're probably looking at mostly sunny skies. As far as future radar, it looks like twin falls under the gun, possibly later in the afternoon for maybe some isolated showers or some thunderstorms. That's about the only location. Got that in the forecast for twin falls here. Partly cloudy, isolated showers and thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy, scattered rain and isolated thunderstorms for Sun Valley, so most of it to the east. Also, uh, to a lesser extent, the mountain locations to the north have a chance. But here in the valley, our story is sunny and hot with triple digit heat for the western in the valley in Canyon County and also Boise. Maybe a little bit more cloud cover, partly cloudy and mostly sunny. And then a chance of a thunderstorm Thursday evening. Then our story is uh, the cold front moving through breezy and much cooler by Saturday back below normal. Then temperatures rebound a bit Sunday, Monday and Tuesday.